there she is, y'all. I have been waiting for this moment. We have Zoomed, we have Skyped, and now we, give me a hug, Dolly. Give oh, me a hug. Listen, you. when she hit the carpet, y'all, she smelled so good. She's like a cupcake, a floral oh, cupcake hitting here. I'm rocking it. You're rocking and rolling? <laughs> yeah. The latest inductee into the Rock yeah. and Roll Hall of Fame. How does it feel, Ms. Dolly It feels Park? good. I'm very proud and honored to be here. I said if they put me in, I would accept it gracefully, and I will, and I'm very proud. But here's the thing. You've received a BMI. You've received Emmys. You've received so many different awards. You've been inducted into other Hall of Fames. How is this one different? Well, because I never thought of myself as being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, because yeah. uh, I just always thought that was for uh, the rock and rollers, but I found out it's for a little more than that, so I'm just proud to still be around doing all the stuff I've done through the years and this is a great honor. Now I know your husband he loves some rock and roll and you told him that you're going to kind of you know dedicate this next album which is going to be dedicated to rock to him. You're going to dedicate it to them. What two artists are you definitely going to have on that album? Well I'm going to do a lot of his favorite songs. He loves Mick Jagger. He loves the Satisfaction those kind of songs. I'm hoping to have Elton John. I'm hoping to have uh, just a lot of the big classic artists and singing some of the classic songs. My final question for you, as a couple that's been together for 56 beautiful years, I know that you have a song that when it comes on, you're like, ooh, this is our song. What song is that for you, Dolly? Well, actually, we have a lot of favorite songs. He, he loves the rock and roll. He loves Led Zeppelin, and he loves Stairway to Heaven. And uh, So I'm going to do a lot of the things like that for him. Give so. us a nice twirl, Dolly. Look at you, looking beautiful on this carpet. Yes, yeah, shake it, ma'am. Here she comes, here she comes. Look at her. Hi. Look at her looking better than the carpet. Hey, you are looking good, girl. You. <laughs> All sparkly, you look gorgeous. Thank you. I mean, American singer, songwriter, mommy, philanthropist, and everything in between. Tonight is a very big night, but it's not just a big night for you. It's a big night for Dolly Parton, who has inspired us all presenting and, and performing for Dolly Parton. Is that very a lot lucky. of pressure? Um, it is a lot of pressure. But it's also, a, it's more an, an honor. It's, I'm so excited for her. She turned this down. And then they said, too bad, we're giving it to you anyway. So she went and recorded 24 rock and roll tracks for a rock and roll album. She's incredible. I just, I can't wait to celebrate her. I love the word incredible that you use. When you think of Dolly Parton, I know that she has influenced you in some way. Oh yeah. In what ways has she influenced she, your music? Um, just, she's really, really funny. Mm -hmm and she's a great songwriter. And so when you see people like that, when you see women like that charting their own course and writing songs like that, you, you're inspired to step up your game. Let me ask you about your own music. One of my favorite songs, Mama, Please Stop Crying. Oh, yeah. I can't stand the sound. That, that song, so much emotion, so much beauty. How do you continue to pull and evoke those emotions in all of your music? Because I'm messy and I live a... <laughs> <laughs> messy life. Stop it. I have so much what inspiration. It looks like it's all together, but yeah. but in here it's there's a thunderstorm brewing. There there are so many um, artists that are here tonight. If you could choose any artist in the world to work with on an album, who would it be? Well, she's not here tonight, but it would be Lauren Hill. Really? Yeah. And second would be Dave Grohl. Wow. Yeah. Looking like a rock and roll snack. Oh my gosh. What inspired this, Brandy? Well, I felt like I wanted to show up with like a little bit of a nod to country and western music with my boots and just kind of the traditional shape of the suit. But I was like, but the metal. You did it. That's where it goes rock and roll. You did it. And then I saw Dolly and what was she wearing? But metal. She knows. Hangs all <laughs> over. Speaking of Dolly, you're going to be performing for her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. When you got the phone call that you had the honor, uh, uh, I would say the, the challenge of, of being in her presence and doing all that, what was that like for you? Well, I was already trying to figure out a way to get a ticket. Because I wasn't about to miss Dolly Parton getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But to think I actually get to be one of the people to honor her and sing her way into the, the to the hall is, uh, it's it's uh, nearly unfathomable, actually. Yeah. You have your own amazing songs. Um, the story, the joke, I mean, the list goes on. All the, the songs. Yeah, all the, actually, the... <laughs> that must be intentional, right? Uh, is there a Dolly Parton song that you kind of, as soon as you knew that you were going to be performing, that you said, this is the one I have to get my hands on? Um, I mean, I would have done any of them, and I've got so many favorite Dolly songs. I think Coat of Many Colors really speaks to me and, and my childhood in a, in a really profound way. I've actually written about the song. I've written think pieces on that song. and how many poor kids uh, use that song uh, for strength and, va and value, inherent value, to make their way through school and to combat things like 
bullying, you know, just based on their on their poverty and their, their belief in themselves. Yes. Um, and it could a parallel could be drawn to how that song has affected queer people, all different kinds of LGBTQIA plus people, you know, throughout its uh, throughout its life. That song, mm. so that one means a lot to me, and so it's important lyric for me. To I cannot to. wait. Thank you so much.